Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is June 10th, 2024. We are in the Old Testament book of Hosea. We're going to read chapter 9 today. Uh, where are we at? Uh, well, Hosea is, is prophesying to the nation of Israel and telling them why God is getting ready to punish them. Uh, in fact, that's what we're going to talk about here. God's judgment against Israel for their sin. Uh, this, this idea some people seem to have that, oh, you know, God loves us and, and he loves me just the way I am. No, God hates sin. If you are, are a sinful person, God loves you, but he's going to destroy the sin. And if you won't let go of the sin, then he's going to send you away as well. That's what we're seeing here. God loves Israel. But if Israel's going to keep sinning, then God has no choice but to punish them. In the hopes that some of them will return to him. So this is what we're just going to see in, in, in chapter 9 here. God's judgment against Israel. God getting ready to send the punishment against Israel. Unleash his wrath against Israel. So let's go ahead and we're going to read to Hosea chapter 9. Do not rejoice, O Israel, with joy like other peoples, for you have played the harlot against your God. You have made love for hire on every threshing floor. The threshing floor and the wine press shall not feed them, and the new wine shall fail in her. They shall not dwell in the Lord's land, but Ephraim shall return to Egypt and shall eat unclean things in Assyria. They shall not offer wine offerings to the Lord, nor shall their sacrifices be pleasing to him. It shall be like bread of mourners to them. All who eat it shall be defiled, for their bread shall be for their own life. It shall not come into the house of the Lord. What will you do in the appointed day and in the day of the feast of the Lord? For indeed they are gone because of destruction. Egypt shall gather them up, Memphis shall bury them. Nettles shall possess their valuables of silver. Thorns shall be in their tents. The days of punishment have come. The days of recompense have come. Israel knows. The prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is insane because of the greatness of your iniquity and great enmity. The watchman of Ephraim is with my God, but the prophet is a fowler's snare in all his ways. Enmity in the house of his God. They are deeply corrupted as in the days of Gibeah. He will remember their iniquity. He will punish their sins. I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your fathers as the first fruits on the fig tree in its first season. But they went to Baal Peor and separated themselves to that shame. They became an abomination like the thing they loved. As for Ephraim, their glory shall fly away like a bird. No birth, no pregnancy, and no conception. Though they bring up their children, yet I will bereave them to the last man. Yes, woe to them when I depart from them, just as I saw Ephraim like tear planted in a pleasant place, so Ephraim will bring out his children to the murderer. Give them, O Lord, what will you give? Give them a miscarrying womb and dry breasts. All their wickedness is in Gilgal, for there I hated them. Because of the evil of their deeds, I will drive them from my house. I will love them no more. All their princes are rebellious. Ephraim is stricken. Their root is dried up. They shall bear no fruit. Yes, were, were they to bear children, I would kill the darlings of their womb. My God will cast them away because they did not obey him. They shall be wanderers among the nations. May God bless the ring of his word. May God bless you. Bye. Bye.